at the retail uh, drug stores. And um, what we're going to do is we're going to see you. Oh, oh wow. Okay. I just got mine. I'm so glad you got it. Thank you. This makes me happy. Painless, right? Painless. Oh, that's awesome. The biggest thing we're confronting right now is so getting the doses. I think you'll hear from the way we read people, the 100 doses they're getting a week goes like that. So that's my job to get back and get the doses. But I'm so glad we have a medical establishment with trained people that can give these shots to the residents. It's so hard on Roosevelt Island. I just came over by the tram and by the bus and it's hard for the residents to get to other areas to get the shots so we have to bring them here. So I want to thank Dwayne Reed for opening their doors not not only for the vaccine for the coronavirus but also for the flu shots. That was a big break that we worked on in Washington to have the drug stores open up and mm -hmm. that's what we're working on now. <laughs> Do you think you'll be able to incro increase the dosages uh, available? That's what we're working on. Last night I marked up a $350 billion city and state allocation bill that had money for vaccines in it and uh, all kinds of things. And, and we got $8 billion for transit for New York City and other very vital things. But I, I think you can attest that it's hard to get off the island to get your shot. So to bring it here, Brilliant. What, what, can you, can you, do you mind being interviewed? By this gentleman? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A pleasure. So Matt, is it a lot easier now to get the vaccine? We we uh, put our material in online. Uh, no, actually we did it um, with a, a, a participant here. It was as easy as it could be. Uh, there was a fair amount of paperwork that had to go with it, but it was questions that were basic. And um, not only was I uh, registered for the first shot, I'm also registered for the second which is could be easier. By the way, uh, so you'll know, the house managers have now decided not